it seemed to me that was a match where both teams just were like, okay, we're going to hit it as hard as we can at you and see what happens. It, it, was that the most service pressure you guys have faced maybe this year? The most, sorry. Service I didn't... pressure? Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, I, liked the, I liked their mindset from the line. They went back. They were very aggressive, especially coming into Provo. We anticipated that. Um, I feel pretty comfortable, you know, uh, now having played with against Rick, uh, their head coach, for a handful of years that – uh, they're not intimidated by coming into Provo. They've got a nice record here in, in town. And uh, so we told the guys that they were going to be one of the better serving teams we faced. And it wasn't just their jump servers, <laughs> their float servers. They were really strategic about where they were putting the ball, good pressure from the service from the float servers as well. And so, um, you know, uh, they were definitely really aggressive. I like how we responded. Thought our ball control is continuing to get better and better. And so, uh, we're building on those things, but exciting match to be a part of exactly what we expected. They're scrappy as heck. You know, they're, we're a little more physical than they are, but I say that because they, they play just as physical, you know, against us. Made good touches and, uh, you know, had us on our heels for, for a lot of that match. So uh, I was proud of the guys and the way they responded. What did you do then? How did you come out on top in this game? What was the difference? No, I just felt like uh, our guys, you know, in that, I think the second set and even parts of the third, they were just getting ahead of themselves, a little frustrated that they're, uh, that each swing wasn't a kill, you know, and so we just talked to them about being disciplined, you know, hitting high with range, moving the ball around, and you saw that our attackers started doing that. And, you know, we, we, we talked to Will about getting a little more of the back row involved in, in system opportunities. And we got some good kills that way. So that, that immediately opened things up there as well. Talk about them being scrappy as heck, I think you call them. It seemed like you matched their scrappiness, especially in that third set after kind of yeah. the set break. And yeah. What kind of change are coming out of the locker room to where you guys were just, I mean, you were scoring in different ways, unique ways, finding, finding different ways to score? Yeah, we told those guys off the play that they needed to be balanced and stopped and willing to kind of get a hand up not just trying to use their platform for every single touch. And those were uh, those touches started at the net. I thought finally our block, you know, it never came around like a typical maybe BYU blocking night, but we slowed them down. We, got, we finally got some touches uh, that slowed things down, allowed us to make some touches in the back row, and that's what we talked to our guys about doing. I still think uh, we're going to leave here tonight. Not We didn't get a good handle on their quicks, and we knew – even with us telling our team that they're going to set more and more quick, which they did, and they were scoring points there. So uh, we've got to make some adjustments there. But we knew their speed to the pins is the, the, the fastest we've seen, and I think that put a lot of pressure on our pin guys because under normal circumstances we're a little better helping with our middles, and we just weren't because I think we were so worried about trying to get out to the outside. And so we, we've got to talk about that. We've got to be a little more situationally kind of aware and that comes down to better service pressure from the line, which overall I think we had a good night, but uh, they're just a good ball control team and it kept them in system, so. What's it like about Gabby's night? Yeah, I mean, Gabby's Gabby, you know? And so uh, I, I don't want to say that in, in a way that uh, kind of just passes it off because it's fun to, to, it's always best to have him on our side for sure, but he's, he, he enjoys, you know, those moments, and he, he had a good night in Provo from the service line that, in a way, he's, he's had his moments where he struggled here at home. It's been great on the road, but he started off there right in that first set with a couple points that really gave him a good mojo and a good feel, and he's just, you know, we'd like to not be so dependent on him, but I understand that when we get in the match and in those moments, we still just go, we go back to Gabby. And he's been able to manage that load. But we, we are trying to, in those situations, not put everything on his shoulders because we've got a team that can help him out a little bit more. And we're showing that. You know, Eschenberg had a great night. And uh, so I like that we're, we're doing that. And uh, I think we'll continue to do that more.